Hello everyone, good morning. So uh, like I told you yesterday when we had our Zoom lesson, today you're not going to receive any videos or any work. Today I'm, me and Stephanie are only sending you a very special scavenger hunt. So I don't know if you already know what a scavenger hunt is, but I will explain to you what it is that you're going to have to do. So for this scavenger hunt, you're going to need a camera and you're going to have to think and find different things. When you find those things, you're going to have to take a picture of them, okay? And then all those pictures you're going to send to me. The first three children from your class, okay? So only your class will, uh, the first three children who sent me all the pictures, I'm going to note down their names. And I already told you that when we go back to school, there's going to be a special prize for them. Okay, now don't rush too much. Don't think about it too much. The idea is to have fun. Okay, even if you think, oh my God, no, I didn't do it in time. I'm not going to be the first one. It doesn't really matter. What is important is that you have fun doing this. Okay, so now I'm just going to read um, to tell you once what, um, what are the things that you need to find. Okay, so this is first called outdoor sensory motor scavenger hunt. Okay, so it says outdoor. What does this mean? If you have a garden where you live, go to the garden but even if you don't have a garden if you need to stay inside your home or your flat that is also okay because all these things you can find them both outdoor and indoor okay so you need to find something you can climb something you can play catch with so what it is that you can throw and play catch with something you can crawl under something to roll across the ground. So what can you roll across the ground or maybe across your floor? Something that is heavy, something that is smooth, yeah? Something that is squishy, something to jump over. So it's a thing that you can jump over. Something to walk across, okay? Something to balance on your head. So to balance something on your head, it means you put it on your head and if you're standing or walking, it doesn't fall over just like this marker fell over my head. Okay, something that is rough, okay, not smooth surface, but something that is rough, like a rock maybe. Something that is soft, something that is hard and something that is loud. Okay, these are the things that you need to find. Guys, I wish you to have a very lovely weekend. Enjoy with your families. If you and your family celebrate Easter, happy Easter. Either way, I will be seeing you again on Monday. Bye-bye.